Hello and welcome to Rain and Valley View Just and a continuation of our series of the top 10 least used stations in Suffolk. To find out where we are today, let's go and see John with the map. Thanks John. And today I'm on the East Suffolk Line, which runs from Lowest Oft on the northeast of the map down to Ipswich on the southwest of the map. And the station we are visiting today is number 9 on the list, Darsham. Darsham was opened in 1859 by the East Suffolk Railway Company, which was soon taken over by the Great Eastern Railway. It boasted several sidings in its time, and these remained until 1966, when they were closed due to lack of traffic. It was also at this time that the station became unmanned. Luckily, however, the station building still stands today. It is not, however, in use as a booking office, but is used by the Darsham Country Centre, a subsidiary of the Woodcraft Folk. It is let out to groups and has accommodation available. I have left links below in the description if you wish to know more about these organisations. It is however great to see the building still being used and hopefully this will continue for many years to come. Next to this is the only remaining level crossing on the A12 between London and Great Yarmouth. Of interest on Platform 1 is what seems to be either an original or at least 20th century shelter. It is quite a structure, and along with the main station building, it is great to see it still intact and not demolished for a more modern design. This view gives us a look at the line as it goes towards Lowestoft. And here is a view of the line as it curves away in the direction of Ipswich. At time of filming, passenger traffic is provided by Class 755 bi-mode units. Facilities at Darsham include an old style platform information board, plenty of regional information boards, an electronic ticketing machine. A very nice service information board. As well as information about the village and surrounding area. By platform 2 there is a help point. As well as a Greater Anglia smart card reader. A new style service information display can also be seen. As well as information about the East Suffolk lines.
There is also the Onward Travel Information Board. In the shelter on Platform 1 there are various information posters about the Suffolk Lines and things to do in the local area. This includes the same map that was seen on Platform 2. Platform 1 also has its own brand new service information board. There is a very prominent driver information board before they cross the level crossing. The statistics for Darsham are that it opened in 1859, it has one train per hour in each direction off peak with some additional services at peak times, but on Sundays this is reduced to one train every two hours in each direction, and the entry and exit figures for 2019 and 2020 were 61,534. Darsham, although not that well used, still retains a lot of the charm of a rural station. Both the main station building and the shelter on Platform 1 are in very good condition, and I do hope this remains the case, as it gives the station a lot of character. The sight lines are excellent for the enthusiast, however the noise from the A12 does impair sound for video recording. But if it's photography you're after, it's a great setting. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much for watching.